Warriors, I don't know who this word is for, but I'm here to encourage somebody today in Jesus' name. As I encourage myself, I'm here to encourage somebody today in Jesus' name. My name is Corinne Graham, also known as a Purpose Warrior. If you are here today, I send you the blessing. Know that you are not here by chance nor coincidence, but if you clicked on this video today, you clicked on this video for a purpose, on purpose, and you will not leave this video today empty-handed. So as I was getting myself together, preparing for tomorrow's master class, I was just sitting with the Father, and I was just thanking Him for everything. And as I was thanking him, he just brought it back to me, the significance of the 30th, why he lined it up to the last Tuesday, why he lined it up to January 30th. And I just started rejoicing because those of you who have heard my testimony know that January 30th, 2021, I went into cardiac arrest for two and a half minutes. My heart stopped. I wasn't breathing. They had to bring me back by defibrillation. <sighs> but glory to God. As I was thinking about this, and I was just thinking about that morning, how the Father woke me up at 222, how the Father began to strengthen my spirit through Deuteronomy 11, how the Father began to give me dreams to comfort me, to get me confident, to remove all fear so that I would go to the hospital that day and I wouldn't put it off. As I'm sitting here thinking about that, and I'm just thanking the Father. I remember walking into that hospital. I remember when I got there, how it just seemed as if every breath was gone out of my body. I remember when I went to take that next breath and it wasn't there and I felt a sense of fear. And the only thing, the only name that came across my mind, glory to God, was Jesus. And that was it. I woke up the next evening on January 31st and they were calling me a miracle. So as I was sitting today and I was thinking, Lord, you are literally sending me out. You are literally having me do this master class. I am a purpose warrior on the three year anniversary since I went into cardiac arrest. And as I was thanking him, it was as if he gave me a vision of what my body looked like laying on that table in that hospital for two and a half minutes. And I just started thanking him because I wasn't breathing. I wasn't there. And somebody had to say clear. Somebody had to do the defibrillation. And I just thank God they didn't stop. I just thank God they didn't give up too soon. I just thank God they kept going. And I thank God that when he woke me up the next day, that I was still fully functional and intact. I thank God I didn't fall out at home. I thank God I went in like it was so fast warriors I wasn't even there for three minutes they hadn't even checked me in he said go to the hospital and I went and I'm telling you it happened so fast they hadn't even got my ID and I just woke up the next day in the ICU let me tell you something as God showed me this it just reminded me of where my confidence comes from because I think of that situation. I think of that morning. I think of what led up to that. In those three years, these three years after that event have not been easy. But I knew he was faithful in the beginning when he was there with me at my last breath. And I knew he was going to continue to be faithful with me to the end. This place that I've just transitioned in, this place that many of his warriors have just transitioned in, we are coming into a, pa a place of rest and peace. And it's not what we've been through. These last three years were tough. But glory to God, he set my witness. He set the witness in place. When he told me to go to the hospital and out of obedience, I went Deuteronomy 11, the header is love and obedience rewarded. He, he broke it down for me that day. He showed me that whoever rose up against me, he had him, that the only battle I had to fight was the inner battle that he had every enemy outside of me. And I want somebody to be encouraged today. I don't know who this word is for, but I want you to be encouraged to stop looking to the left and the right. Stop pointing your fingers. Galatians 6 says, worry about your own works. 
And I don't want you to be distracted thinking about what somebody else did, what somebody else said, or even what they may say and do. Because at the end of this life, it's only going to be you and the Most High God. Those people, those things don't matter. You won't even think upon them when that time comes. So be encouraged. Do what he's telling you to do because you will be rewarded. And it's not going to be easy. This is a race of perseverance. This is a race perfecting you from the inside out. This is a faith marathon. Glory to God. And that's why he set the witness in place in the beginning for you. I don't know who you are, but you know that you've seen God. You know that you've seen him. And even though situations get hard and they get tough, don't you forget who you saw. Don't you forget whose hand is upon you. You can't fail. His word is in you and he's going to prosper you. He's going to protect you because his word is in you. So even if you can't protect yourself, even if you're in a situation like I was in a situation where I was by myself in a room full of strangers, he'll tell them to keep on going. He'll tell them to breathe again, defibrillate her again, resuscitate her again, because that's mine and she belongs to me. Mm. The father wants you to strengthen yourself by standing on your witness, by keeping your heart in a posture of gratitude. It hasn't been an easy three years. It's just getting beautiful. <laughs> but he showed me how to rejoice and how to be grateful. For all things. Because he gave me life. The ability to wake up another day. To hug my husband. To see my husband. To see my kids. To see my parents. Glory to God. I love you warriors. And it's a time of celebration. I'm so pumped up. Mm -mm. There are no coincidences in the kingdom of God. And if he has me doing this masterclass tomorrow, January 30th, 2024, my three-year anniversary, from when I went into cardiac arrest, I know healing is going to be in the room. Mm, resurrection, recompense, oh, redemption, oh, recovery. Come on, somebody. It is not a game in Jesus' name. I love you, warriors. I pray if this word blesses you, plant the seed of a thumbs up, plant the seed of an amen in the comments, plant the seed of subscribing, plant the seed of hitting the notification bell, plant the seed of sharing this video with someone that you know may need to hear it, plant the seed of going to my website, www.corinnegram.com, join in my mailing list, showing up tomorrow. Come get in the room with me and hear where does this, where did this whole I am a purpose warrior come from? Where did this whole thing come from? You're going to hear about it tomorrow. If you show up in Jesus name, you are going to be blessed by it. You are going to be blessed by it in Jesus name. I love you warriors and I'll talk to you soon.